Well, today's hike was uh, intended to be uh, in a different park. Um, it got too muddy, so we had to go to Mount Nemo specifically because it has a, um, a road that's uh, crushed limestone. So that's pretty good. Um, so we parked in the uh, Mount Nemo parking lot and headed on down um, the... Uh, the access road, which is uh, crushed limestone, so no mud there. Um, the trails are well marked here, but we're staying on this uh, this road heading straight due east and towards the escarpment. And um, finally, uh, when you reach the birch forest, there's a uh, trail that goes off to the right. And um, the road continues on to the left. But to the right is a huge uh, mound. Um, there you see Trail G, apparently. But on the right, you can see the huge mound um, with birch trees growing on it. That uh, These are the remnants of the um, limestone, uh, the limestone quarry uh, staging area where they would crush the rock. Um, we're going around the back end of it, and you can see there on the post, it says, uh, this way to the quarry. So uh, we'll head on down that trail. Um, so this road was uh, used to haul the gravel out. It must be a lot of years ago now, based on um, what I can see, maybe uh, 1960s or whatever. So um, the road continues on in. And so the quarry is uh, not big by modern day standards, but uh, quite deep. And um, the access road continues on even lower. And as you can see there, uh, the cliffs are quite sharp. Now we're almost at the bottom area. And um, there's a picnic area there. Now, you would think that there's only one way out of this place, uh, but all those black rocks, um, I eventually hiked up those black rocks. There's a, a look at the other side of the quarry. So uh, I began uh, to climb the black rocks on the right, and um, it looked uh, quite difficult, but in reality, it wasn't too bad. Uh, Eve didn't go all the way. That's as far as she would go. So climbed up over those big black boulders and then eventually it starts to get a little easier to climb. And as you get to the top, I turned around and took a photograph of uh, the area down there. And right in the middle of the screen, right there, that's where Eve is sitting there waiting for me. So she won't go up. And um, so this is... Uh, nearly uh, at the top, um, there's kind of a, a flat area and there's a bonfire area, um, climbed on out. So um, once I got out and uh, we went on to the, uh, hiked into the other side of the uh, the mound, which is the area where they would do the crushing of the limestone or loading of the trucks or both, I'm not sure. So this is a look at that area. Um, obviously these birch trees have grown since then. So I would think that's why my estimate is uh, maybe 50 years ago. And then back at the parking lot. So this is a special map um, I created of the Mount Nemo area just to give you your bearings. On the bottom left hand corner is Guelph Line. On the top right hand corner is Walker's Line. So this area that we see all in the middle, it's all green, uh, is the Mount Nemo Park where the star is in the bottom uh, left hand corner is where the parking lot would be. Uh, the dotted lines are the various trails um, through the park. Uh, so um, our hike today will go straight into the quarry. The quarry is represented by a black uh, square in the top uh, of the picture. Below that is a red heart that will uh, represent the uh, 
limestone quarry staging area that uh, looks like a, a big mound with birch trees on it. The blue line is um, the general representation of the uh, the uh, route that we took into the uh, quarry, which was all uh, or almost all crushed limestone 